Good morning, good afternoon. Hello, 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 all you beautiful people. Welcome into the Fafim house this wonderful, beautiful Saturday afternoon or morning, wherever you are. Glad to have each of you in here in my kitchen with me this morning. Um, we are going to be making up some lunch. Today we're going to make a cheeseburger casserole, one that I grew up with that my mom made. And we're going to make a cheesy potato, simple cheesy potato recipe. Um, and so just hop in the kitchen with me this morning and let's get started. I hope everyone is doing well. Hello, Miss Slimy. <clears throat> I hope you had an excellent, excellent day at school yesterday. So um, let's get started. So first I want to start with the potatoes, okay? You just need to get a bag of potatoes. <clears throat> like I have a one pound, no, this is three pound, I'm sorry. Just a three pound bag of organic potatoes. So I do have that. And I'm just going to start peeling these uh, into my bowl here. I like to have what I call a trash bowl. <laughs> And I just put, you know, if I'm cooking my, my eggshells or whatever in here and I'll throw it all in the trash can when I'm done. It just makes it easier. Uh, so I'm going to start peeling um, these potatoes. I, I already started kind of peeling. I have two in here. This right here has got water in it. <clears throat> and I'm just putting my potatoes in them to wash them off after I peel them. So I'm just going to keep peeling my potatoes here. And I'm going to put them in my water bowl over here it kind of washes them off and keeps them from turning brown while we continue to cut more potatoes and then this is the little dish that I'm going to put my potatoes in when I'm done you can make how many ever you want of these potatoes you can make a huge batch a small batch a medium batch um, it just depends on how many people you're wanting to feed if you're just making it for yourself if you're just you know single or something you wouldn't want a ton of potatoes you can make this in a small batch um, you take heavy whipping cream and um, you add a little bit of milk to it and you heat it up in a little small pot on your stove and you add like two tablespoons of flour to it to thicken it a little bit and then you can add some salt and pepper and I add Mrs. Dash the table blend um, and then and then you're gonna once you got it heated up you're gonna add some shredded cheese to it um, so when you make that, if you don't want as much cheese, you can make that a little smaller. You don't put as much whipping cream or milk in it. Um, now, I don't measure out my whipping cream or milk. Um, it's kind of how my mom taught me. I just kind of eyeball it in a pot and see how much I'm going to need for the batch of potatoes I have. So um, I have that already heating up on the stove. Um, so I'll show you guys um, that in a minute. Hey, Ruff. Happy Saturday to you. How's little Ruff doing? I didn't ask you last night. Has he played any Fortnite in a while or is he still playing Rocket League? <clears throat> Really? Okay. <clears throat> I was going to see if he had played Fortnite in a while because I was like, man, I miss playing with him. And he was the little <clears throat> Fortnite junkie for a while. All righty. <clears throat> now that's all my potatoes.
Alrighty. Let me check this little milk I have heating up over here. It's going to thicken up on you a little bit, which is what you want it to do. Okay. Let me get my cheese here. And I'll show you this to you guys in just a second. I just bought a bag of the Velveeta shredded cheese because that's what they had. It's like an eight ounce bag. And I put about half the cheese in that milk room back here. All right. <clears throat> yes, they do. Um, rough, they make shredded cheese. It's really good when it's chili time of the year and you make chili. I like the Velveeta shredded in it. Walmart sells it, Rough. That's where I first saw it, Walmart. And they make uh, the slices too, Rough. You can get them at Walmart. Yep. <clears throat> I think they have the mozzarella Velveeta too. It actually is creamier too, rough. Okay, now I have my potatoes in my water here. I'm just going to drip it off. And then I'm going to pull it over here to my pan. And uh, I'm going to cube these, okay? Do not watch my knife cutting skills. You're not supposed to cut back to you. My mom taught me how to do this. I've never cut myself. But you're supposed to put it on a cutting board and uh, cut it up. I'm being terrible. And not a good example but <laughs> you just cube these up <clears throat> hey Heather how are you friend I was just talking to somebody about you last night maybe your ears were burning we were talking, I was talking about Fortnite with someone else in another stream. And I was talking about a friend that I used to play Fortnite with a lot. I was talking about you. And I was telling them some laughs we had because they were talking about laughing moments. And I was talking about you. So I have a question because <clears throat> it's you and Ruff in here. I want your opinion on something because I'm getting um, tons of people now that have started talking about my cooking streams. Um, people come in here from Grand Stream and other streams. Um, so a lot of them live in the West and some of them live in Canada. And I've had a few that live in other countries. Um, and some of them have followed my YouTube channel and some of them have given me feedback about my Saturday streams because like some people at West are two hours behind me. So if I start at noon, it's like 10 their time and some people work uh, like night shift. Um, I've had several tell me that and they're still in the bed and I, I have some that come in at the very end of stream and they're sad because they miss part of it. So my question is, I know Saturday people are doing things a lot of times with your families or they're getting up from a long work night. Do you think, I thought about trying out a different time on Saturdays um, that maybe isn't like in the middle of the day, like where Callie is, it's one o'clock when I start, um, you know, and sometimes she'll catch me on her phone uh, and stuff like that because she likes my cooking streams also but um, and she's busy with Aiden obviously but my question is should I should I start at like four o'clock central that would be three people's time or five o'clock on Saturdays and try it out and see if that works better for people what, what is y'all's feedback on that
Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm going to try it then. Because... Because I did it earlier because some people was like, oh, I could, I could watch you for lunchtime. And, and, you know, I am central time, though, is the problem. So, um, okay, I'll try it out then. I'm open to that. All right, I got like three potatoes left here. Yesterday, I did a lot of recording, too. Um, I recorded um, how to make ginger snaps, oatmeal raisin cookies, um, and I did a batch of homemade ice cream. And cilantro is going to edit the videos. Uh, he got a video editor, uh, add some music to it or whatever he's going to do. And he's going to try to upload one video a week, I think, that I record. So it's just like standalone dishes that are short videos. Some of them may be 10-minute videos, some may be 5-minute videos. Um, it's just something <clears throat> like to show a how-to kind of thing of how to make something simple. Um, and it can also speed up the process. Like Alice wanted me to make chicken tortilla soup on stream. Well, that goes in the crock pot and cooks for eight hours. I mean, clearly that would be boring to put that in and watch it. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, do that one as a video and show putting it in the crock pot. And then come back later and record the ending of it coming out so he can edit those together. So that's kind of what we're doing on those recorded videos for YouTube. Um, so I did do three yesterday that he's going to work on. And we're going to try to drop one video a week plus upload these each week too. All right, I'm almost done with these. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Ruff. I think it would be cool. I mean, we'll we'll upload the VODs. I mean, a lot of streamers do that. They, um, I know one that one guy, I think it's Ludwig, that did the huge stream. He just uploads his VODs, and then he still has videos, too. So we're just going to upload this, or whatever our stream. <clears throat> I mean, Cilantro is still just uploading those. But then I'm going to make videos like, uh, someone asked me about spinach dip. Well, that's, that's like a 10-minute or less video to make spinach dip. I mean, that's easy. So that would be a recorded video. And then I might make buffalo chicken dip. Record that. That that kind of thing is the premise. All right, there we go. Now, I'm going to move my water out of the way here. All right. Now, over on the stove, I've had my heavy whipping cream with some milk added, and I put pepper, salt, and Mrs. Dash Table Blend in it, and half a bag of the shredded cheese Velveeta. Um, I had that heating up before I started stream, so it would thicken, and it has two tablespoons of flour in it. <clears throat> and... I'm just going to mix this, make sure it's good and mixed. So this right here is just, I just pour in to about right there. Like I said, I don't measure heavy whipping cream. Add a little bit of milk to get it to this level, so maybe to half the pot. Two tablespoons of flour, mix it up, get it heated up nice and warm. And then I add in half a bag of shredded cheese. I used Velveeta. I put some pepper, salt, and I use the table blend. Mrs. Dash and I just sprinkle to my liking in it. I do about a teaspoon of salt because we don't use a lot of salt and I mix this in, okay? <laughs> Mercy meatloaf, oh my gosh. Maybe a taste testing yum or, oh my gosh, that would be so funny. So now that I have this mix, my roux, okay, you're just going to, um, let me see if I can get this in better view for you. These are my chopped up potatoes and I'm just going to pour this over it, okay? Mm 
Now I just want to try to see if it'll sink down in there. Okay. You may have to push it and help it a little bit. These are not cooked, obviously. The potatoes are going to cook in the oven. And you're going to check on these like halfway through. Because you want to make sure that they're not sticking or anything. Now, if you don't feel like it's completely covered enough, um, I suggest adding a little bit of milk, okay? And I'm just going to add a little bit in the corner over here. And let me take my spatula, get it down in there. Make sure you get your potatoes kind of nice and covered. Okay. hellbound happy saturday okay now i got this done okay what you're gonna do is take some foil and we're gonna cover this up okay we're gonna take foil cover this up so that way it keeps in the heat and the moisture and it lets this cook and it also doesn't let the top of your roux that you made for your potatoes burn okay so we're gonna put a cover on this and I have my oven, um, you can put it at 375 to 400 degrees, depending on the heat of your oven. And we're going to put it in the oven. And we're, it takes about 45 minutes, 35 to 45 minutes to get these to soften. You can check them. It may get done sooner. That's fine. As long as they're soft and they're not crunchy, you're good. So let me set my timer here. I'm going to set it for 45. I may check a little before then. Okay. Now, okay, I've got that done. I got that cooking. Now, you probably aren't going to get to see the ending results of either one of these, unfortunately, because they take a while to cook. But I will put a picture of the potatoes and this casserole in the Discord. But what I would like to note on the potatoes before we move on to the casserole is right at the end when they're soft and you know it's time to come out like you poke them with a knife or something and it's time for them to come out, then what you need to do is take the foil off and you'll have half a bag of your shredded cheese left. Sprinkle the rest of it on top of the potatoes, okay? Put it back in and allow it to melt, okay? And then when you pull it out, they're ready to eat, okay? And so they're good to go. Okay, so now we're going to make something I grew up eating called cheeseburger casserole. It's so simple. My mom used to make it. I remember her making it on Friday nights. It was easy. Um, you just get a casserole dish of your liking. And then I have some Smart Balance, like, olive oil spray. And I'm just going to spray the inside of this some. Up the walls a little bit. Okay, now you're going to need a toaster for this um, and what you need to do is on your toaster there should be settings that's like it goes from light to dark to say how dark you want your toast. You want to set it way down low because our point of this recipe because we're going to put bread in this okay. You don't want yours to be toasty like you would eat toast with, like nice and brown or crunchy or something, because then it's too done for this casserole. <clears throat> what we're trying to accomplish here is we don't want to put soft bread in here. It will become soggy. You're just wanting to toast it just a little bit, okay? Just to give it that nice, slight little bit of crunch, okay? So I'm going to put two slices in. 
put them down. I have it down really light. <clears throat> and uh, while that's toasting, in this little bowl right here, um, I have three eggs, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack my eggs into this bowl. Put it in my trash bowl over here. And now I'm going to just kind of scramble these a little bit. Let me add just a little bit of my milk here. Hey, fish. Just putting a little bit of heavy whipping cream in here or milk, whichever you desire. And I'm going to mix that in with my eggs. Rough fish doesn't get to take his chickens when he moves. I'm sad for him. They don't have room. So we won't have any more chicken pictures. Now I'm going to put some Mrs. Dash Table Blend in here. A little bit of salt just gonna pick it up with my hands sprinkle a little bit in not much I'm gonna mix this together all right now I'm gonna take my bread and I'm going to make a layer on the bottom. And as you can see, like I said, you can't even hardly tell the bread's toasted. It just has that nice little crunch to it, okay? And I'm going to put that in here. And I'm going to put some more down. Now, in my egg mixture here, I'm going to take some mustard. And I'm going to put quite a bit of mustard in here. Well, then don't put them in your suitcase. Just put them in a cage and take them then. I'm going to add a little bit of milk to thin this out some. The heavy whipping cream made it a little too thick. And depending on the size of my casserole, how it turns out, I may not have to use all this, but we shall see. So I'm mixing in the mustard here with this. Okay, now, let's see, oh, this is warm. You have to rip these depending on your dish. Let me put some more in.
Okay, now, let me move this back. I want y'all to be able to see this. So now I've taken about, you can do two to three pounds of hamburger meat cooked and cleaned. So on top of this bread, sprinkle some hamburger meat. And uh, then take your sliced cheese <clears throat> and put a slice of cheese over to cover all this up. This is just some Velveeta shredded, I mean, uh, sliced cheese I got. I normally don't get cheese in the wrapper like this. I don't like it. I think it tastes cheap. But anyways... For you new ones that came in here, Hellbound Fish, um, with some suggestions, we're going to try a different start time on Saturdays. Um, a lot of people are behind us a couple of hours, different things like that, because I'm central time. And I had some people that were coming in here from different countries. So we're going to start, we're going to try like a more toward dinner time stream on Saturdays. So I may start around 4 o'clock central, 4 or 5 central, somewhere in there and uh, do that on Saturdays because a lot of people will say they really like coming in here but either either they they work nights or something and they're just getting up different things like that um, so we're gonna try it out and see how the uh, numbers go because um, when I first started this in January um, you know I, w I was running some high numbers on Saturdays um, of viewers and then people told me they would keep coming and watching but their jobs changed they're going back to work from COVID different things like that so I want to try um, you know, different times. So I'm going to try something out, um, you know, a little later. All right. So now I did this. Okay. Now I'm going to do another layer of bread. This is our final layer of bread and we're going to top it off with the hamburger and the cheese. Okay. Now, this is an easy casserole, too. I think my mom liked it also. I mean, it, it tastes really good when you get done with it. But it also doesn't take a terrible long time to make. Because you're going to pour this mixture over the top of this, this egg, milk, mustard mixture. It's going to go all over this. And um, you're kind of just waiting for it to set up in there. They're Velveeta rough. You know what I'm going to do because these, I usually use um, a different kind of cheese. These are thicker. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pour a little bit of the mixture and then put the cheese because this is what holds it together. Let me pull this back. I don't want a terrible lot. I accidentally put too much there. So probably drizzle a little bit if you got thicker cheese and then put the cheese on top of it. Because that's what we're going to do on the top. Believe it or not, I know this seems weird. But this is such a good thing. <laughs> okay. Yay. Now, now we in business. I remember as a kid, we, we used to love this. Me and my sister ate this a lot. Okay, now I'm going to take the rest of my hamburger meat that is left and put it all on the top of this. If I would have had one more pack of hamburger meat, 
I might have added just a little more. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this, what's left, and I'm going to drizzle it. And I ran around the edges first. Okay. Now I'm going to take some more of my Mrs. Dash. And now you can see why you don't want to leave your bread untoasted because you put the liquid on there and it's just going to make that soggy. The toast absorbs it well and it makes this combine and it has the mustard in it too. Um, it's just one of those things until you try it. It's just, it was one of those things growing up we just liked. And then you're going to take your mustard and I mean lightly, not if I can get it to squirt out oh, just a little bit on your top layer. Don't do it on the bottom one. We're not trying to make this taste like a mustard casserole, okay? <clears throat> Unless you like a lot of mustard. And then we finish it with our cheese. Rough, believe it or not, it's amazing. You need to start wowing your wife. You can learn how to do some of this. That's not too hard. Oh, or maybe you don't want to. Then she'll make you start cooking, right? It takes a lot of cheese. That was a 16 um, a stack of cheese I just opened and there's only two slices left so it took 14 slices of cheese okay all right now I got my potatoes in the oven on 375 they have 30 minutes left I'm gonna stick this in the oven <clears throat> uh, probably when there's like 20 minutes left of the potatoes so this doesn't get done too soon and um, I'm gonna stick it in there and um, you're going to see when it gets done, I mean, at least needs to cook 20 minutes. Uh, this cheese is going to melt, um, and you've got to give the egg time to cook and set up. The egg has been thin because you're not wanting it to set up in there like a breakfast casserole. That is not going to do that at all in this. It is not going to set up uh, like some kind of breakfast casserole where you scramble the eggs and put it in there. We, that's why we thinned it out with a lot of milk. And you put your mustard in it and stuff. It's just basically a holding agent. And it's going to give it a different flavor. Um, forever, I didn't even know there was eggs in this as a kid. Um, I just knew there was mustard in something and it was holding it all together. So um, <clears throat> that's kind of what that does. Uh, you know what's funny about you saying that, Ruff? That's the way Puff is. Puff hates mustard. Like, he despises mustard. But there's so many recipes that have mustard in it. Do you know until recently, he didn't know there were mustard in, like, salmon patties that I made on stream where you pat the salmon patties out and fry them? Like, he loves those. And I never told him when he was growing up that there was mustard in those. Because you know what, Ruff? I knew as soon as I did that... Um, he would not eat it. I knew it because I knew he would be like, oh, I'm going to gag if I eat it because he hates mustard so bad. 
And I think it's funny uh, that people are like that. Um, but yeah, so, you know, if Puff knows there's a bunch of mustard in it, he won't eat it. So I can so see that. Um, we never tried this with ketchup growing up. Um, I kind of actually wanted to try that at some point because you're trying to make it taste like a cheeseburger with the mustard and my mom always just used mustard and so you never want to use mayonnaise because it heats up and the way it cooks and stuff it would be gross and my grandmother said never use mayonnaise um but she used the mustard also but I'm just not sure um about the ketchup but I thought one time about trying it uh not sure and kind of see um maybe what ketchup would be like in this <laughs> But anyways, let me um, set this over here on my stove. I'm going to wait a little bit before the potatoes get closer to being done. But unfortunately, um, I'm going to have to be done with stream because these things have to cook a while. Um, and you guys don't want to sit here and listen to me for 40 more minutes. You know, Ruff, I actually thought about that. Like, when I make the casserole, I thought about taking a small dish and pulling just a little bit of the ingredients out and make it in, like, a really tiny one with the ketchup and see what it tastes like. Because um, that might be kind of cool. <laughs> uh, but anyways, guys. So, I've got all this in the oven. Um, I will take pictures of the finished product and put in Discord when it's done. Um, so you guys can see what the potatoes look like and the consistency um, and the casserole. And, of course, the pictures will go on our Instagram page. Um, and please uh, stay. Oh, yes. Discord, recipes, that kind of thing. Um, I updated the homemade ice cream recipe in Discord uh, last night. So that's been updated because um, I, I did find my original recipe. Um, and updated, I had one of the ingredient measurements off, so I did update that. Um, but stay tuned to the YouTube channel, because coming soon, um, cilantro will start editing videos. Um, like I said, I recorded my first three yesterday, and he's going to try to drop one a week. We'll decide what day we're going to drop those on, uh, maybe midweek, Wednesday, or I don't know what day, but anyways, he'll figure out a day he wants to drop those, and we'll try to drop it the same day each week. And uh, we'll have a new video. And uh, so exciting things coming. We appreciate you guys supporting us on our journey. Um, and um, so who knows where it'll lead. But anyways, we're enjoying the journey. And I thank you guys for being here with us. Thank you, Heather. You have a blessed day too, hun. Um, and I hope everyone uh, just has an excellent day. And again, glad you guys joined us today. And uh, we'll see you on Monday. Enjoy that weekend, everyone. And don't forget, tell someone you love them. Bye-bye.